Well, coming on guys. Well, I'm still at Wheels Motorcycles, <laughs> slowly working my way through all of their used bikes. Everyone asked me, How, what do you think to the Daytona 675? Now, it's a bike I've never tried, so I'm about to rectify that. Let's go. I'll pull the clutch. Ah, that old Triumph trick. Straight away, you can hear that familiar Triumph whine. The riding position seems, yeah, seems okay. It just seems quite spacious, actually, this. Compared to the R1 I've just stepped off of, this actually feels really rather comfortable. Like that front brake lever, it's got way is way too uh rd 500 way too close to my glove let's just adjust that quickly sounds nice it's got that triumph wine that triple wine it's not a noise i've ever been that fond of if i'm completely honest that's one of the things i like about the new you know 765 it doesn't have that wine so much but I've heard so many good things about this bike. It's meant to be so well balanced, handles so well. I'm quite excited. I need to find myself some corners. I'm, I don't know Peterborough. I've been told to head towards Elton. <laughs> Is the directions I've had where I'll find some lovely roads. Oh, now that's the sound I like. Uh, oh, I've gone the wrong way already. That induction roar is just lovely. Mirrors are beautiful. No real vibration in those mirrors. Just a comfortable riding position. The clocks are basic. You know, you just got a, an analog rev counter with a with an LCD, but work beautifully. I do love an analog rev counter. Blipper or quick shifter? I'm not sure. <laughs> it may have a quick shifter, I guess. It has a quick shifter. Elton, we need Elton. Pegs are at a nice height, not too high, comfortable height. A little bit of weight on the wrist, but not as much as the R1. Much more comfortable than the R1. Perfectly acceptable sports bike riding position. Steering lock, surprisingly good, actually. For a sports bike. And you've got a fuel gauge. Sorry, I'm just filtering in here. I will indicate so you get an idea where I'm going. I ain't got a clue where I'm going. I want to get out of town and onto some twisties. Not having much luck at that at the moment. Yeah, quick shift is lovely. No blipper. The suspension feels very nice on this, but it should do because these are equipped with Olins forks, Olin shocks, so these are really high spec, these 675, uh, sorry, si yeah, 675 R's, very high spec bike with all of the, even the Brembo master cylinder, so you've got the Brembo brakes with the master cylinder, which does tend to make a big difference when you have that combo. Oh, I don't know where we're going, do I? As far as sports bikes go in town, this is as good as they get really. Comfortable, lightweight, superb brakes, lovely clutch feel. You can feel every little indentation in the road, but not in an uncomfortable way. You can just tell what the tarmac's doing, but it doesn't seem too crashy. The bump management seems nice. You can't hold in that gold, that gold suspension. It's bloody good. Elton Peterborough. Not Alton. Let's see where that takes us. I found some countryside. I haven't found any corners yet though. <laughs> you, you can tell as soon as you get on a bike, as soon as you just throw your leg over it and set off. You can sort of know straight away whether it's a bike you think you're going to like or not. And this one ticks all the boxes. 
Whoa! All the roads around here are so bumpy! What is going on? But that suspension is so good! That power! You don't need more than that on the road! I think the problem is people started to just want litre bikes all the time and litre bikes have got faster and faster and faster they're now at the point where they're just so crazy they're too much for the road whereas the 600 750 class with a new bike capable of you know, say 130 or 140 horsepower with all the toys on it I think there's a big gap in the market for that where are all the corners around here? <laughs> This is the straightest roads in the world. Gearbox is very nice, very smooth. The bike just poodles along. Top gear, 60 miles an hour, about 5,000 revs. The thing red lines at 14 and a half, so you can give it a proper screaming. And that's why these middleweights are so good, because they're always revy. And the beauty of this is, look at that, it's got some torque. You can get decent torque out of a 600, it is possible. Oh, can we find some corners, please? Maybe this, I can see a corner. Is that a corner or is that a junction? No, it's a corner. Let's attack it. This bike has a new front tyre. Oh, we had one corner. You can tell the suspension on this, on a similar bumpy road, so what I took the R1 on, the R1 was having me out of the seat. This Odin's kit is so nice. The bump management is excellent. Hey! Oh yeah, oh, lovely. Roads like this is what you need this in suspension and just look how bumpy these are. Tight right, really tight right. <laughs> yeah, this thing's great. This thing is really, really great. Give me this over the R1 any day as a road bike. Absolutely lovely. Oh, that's what I call a tight right. That's what I call a tight left. Enough talk. More than enough talk. The scenery around here is just amazing. This will do. We just stop in the middle of the road. Someone's been doing some uh, some burnouts. <laughs> it wasn't me, sir. So there it is. Sorry, it's a bit windy here, so I do apologise for any wind noise, but 675 is a lovely, lovely looking bit of kit. Absolutely is. Underslung exhaust, tasty wheels, the full Olins and Brembo setup. I mean, that is uh, a match made in heaven. And of course, there must be a matching Olins rear shock as well but it, uh, why did they drop this bike i guess the only reason to drop it is because of sales people weren't buying it anymore but the r model is the uh, is the one with all the bling on it and it's the one i'd have i think this one also has some rear triumph rear sets on there i don't know if they're standard on these or someone's added those as you can see they're in the lower position perhaps that's why it's so comfortable because they've got those set right down um, but it's a great looking bit of kit this one also has some carbon fibre infills. Uh, don't know whether they're standard or not. Again, it could have been added. Got the full, oh, it's a proper TTX Olin shock as well. Not the cheap one, the, the full on TTX version. That's why the suspension's so good. Little running light in the middle, two just halogen lights on this at this age bike. It's also got the carbon front mudguard, this one. But it's a physically, even though it's a, you know, 600, it's a 600, really, but it's a, it's a big bike. It's not a small, tiny little bike. I'd say it's no smaller 
than my GSX-R to look at physical size. <sighs> Let's jump back on. Everyone said I had to try a 675R or even just a 675. I really, really like it. I think I actually prefer it to the... That's what loads this. I think I actually prefer it to the, uh, the Kawasaki. Select 6 r the new one. And even this is, even though this is a 2016 bike, how good is that suspension over this road? This is, this is ridiculous. But I think it's, I think, I think I prefer it. It maybe isn't quite. God, that's ridiculous. It maybe isn't quite as fast as the ZX Six R. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Got one mile of this. But I think it's got a bit more character. <laughs> this is, this is a bit, the bumpiest stretch of tarmac road I've ever been on. I've never been on a road that's tarmac, which is as rough as that. And the suspension on this is handling it without crashing. Incredible. Oh, oh. It's a lovely bike. It's really full of character it's the perfect size for the road <laughs> oh god it's it's got all of the premium bits on it the r model i don't think you need the r just the standard ones probably equally as nice but with these 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 little extras on with the uh olins and the brembos it's just made it such a sharp package i wish i could have some better roads i wish i could use this down where i know the area Trying to find roads, I don't know where they are, it's a bit of a nightmare, but I can tell it's, it would be a beautifully handling machine. It's made me really excited for the new 76R, it really has. And the hope that they may start actually producing these again. Uh, I'm guessing left. So there we go, my first taste of the Triumph 675. Absolutely loved it. Everyone was so right when they said I need to try one of these. Absolutely fantastic and massive thank you to Wheels Motorcycles. Which is here somewhere, here it is, for lending me this. Really appreciated guys. So if you want to have a used bike, come and see Wheels. Maybe they've still got this little 675 still available. Give them a ring. Thanks a lot guys. I'll see you later. This is power level one, which is full power. Oh, oh.